Hey guys, it's Mike here. It's a couple days after the election and I just wanted to do a quick little video and just kind of give some of my thoughts. Um, wow, I mean, what what a crazy election. Um, the fact that what Trump had to go through in order to get where he did is just, is just crazy incredible. I think he worked something like 66, 67 days in a row without a day off having these rallies. Um, the day before the election, he had four rallies in a row. Um, back to back to back to back, and he he really pushed it. I mean, the dude's 78 years old, and it was just incredible. So um, whether you lean left or right, I mean, if you got to kind of give the guy his flowers for that, I mean, he's definitely worked hard to get where he's at. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of um, craziness on social media, um, and just people are really upset about it. Um, you know, of course, there's a lot of people that are happy about it. Um, I used to not be involved in politics at all until I started noticing that some of them were, and it's probably always been going on. I just never paid attention to it, but that these politicians, they, they make decisions and you know, where they go where the money's at, you know, it could be like a certain drug company or something that's funding them. And all of a sudden they're passing these laws and, you know, making mandates on certain things and, you know, it's just I'm not into that stuff. Like whenever the government gets in my life, I just don't like it. I feel like the only place for the government really, and not really the only, I might be missing some things, but I think law enforcement and, you know, the police and the sheriffs and fire department, ambulance and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we definitely need that kind of stuff. We need regulation within those businesses um, to make sure everything is running properly. Um, and there's certain things that do need to be regulated, but it should be all kept to a minimum. You know, it's like, mostly I think Americans just want to be left alone. You know, we want to be, we want to live a happy and prosperous life, healthy, happy, um, content. And we don't want to be, you know, overtaxed and, you know, uh, pay for things that we shouldn't have to pay for. And, you know, as far as like, um, double taxation, I mean, all this stuff, it's just, it's just crazy, you know, or if we're paying, you know, in our taxes for, you know, wars that we don't support, you know, um, and I'm, I mean, that's a big one for me. It's like, gosh, how much money have we as the United States spent on these countless wars? And I know that um, the president elect, when he was president in his first term, there was no war, you know, um, but for some reason, the, um, the left, I don't know if it's switched because I don't always think it was like that. I think that the Democrats... Um, way back in the day were more anti-war. Always seemed like the Republicans were the ones that were funding wars like Bush and all these guys. Like I, I really couldn't stand him, right? Just being honest. Um, and I voted for Obama in the first term. And man, I don't know what, I don't know what. I wasn't paying attention. I was younger and I just, I didn't pay attention. Now I pay attention. So People are upset about the president-elect now, and I don't really feel like they should be. He was already there for four years. Nothing bad happened other than what came in through um, the lab, but that wasn't his fault, and he had to deal with all that during his first term. So um, I'm hoping this second term that the left and the ones that are – I just call them the puppet masters because I think a lot of these guys, they're not the ones calling the shots. Like I didn't think Biden or Kamala were calling the shots of anything. I think that there is some sort of shadow thing going on over there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that all works, but um, you know, I think that's why they don't like him, and that's why they spread all this propaganda, and they, they use lawfare and make up accusations and – you know, there's subpoenas and there's raids on his home and it's just, it's nonstop. So what this guy went through with all that stuff, with the assassination attempts, you know, um, and then to have all these people that were unlikely supporters like Elon and Tulsi and um, Joe Rogan now um, and RFK, all this stuff, all these people, man, it's just like, you know, I feel like they're they're really trying to do something good. So um, I know out on the social medias, just people are going crazy. I had one guy who wrote this thing yesterday on his Facebook talking about how now it's going to be like Nazi Germany. And now we have, you know, now is Hitler and uh, uh, all this stuff. I'm like, dude, seriously, I, I put a comment on his page. I was just like, I thought this was a joke. 
I really did. I read it. I was like, man, this guy, I thought, I thought this guy was kind of like moderate or whatever. And all of a sudden he says, oh, and like, this is going to happen and whatever. I'm like, give me a break, man. And so I just posted on his thing. I was like, this has to be a joke. And then I went back to his page today and I was unfriended. So go figure. Don't understand it. I mean, I don't, it's just, you know, when they talk about the news and it be, it's being somewhat uh, fake, it's true. There's certain channels that will continue to just spread the same stories over and over and over until you believe them. Keep saying things so many times and people will believe them. So you gotta, you have to kind of just do your own due diligence and don't just, if you're the type of person that's already got your mind set that you're like, he's Hitler or, you know, he's a womanizer or whatever, that's all propaganda. That's all propaganda. I mean, they look for some little thing in his past. He says something, oh, whatever, you know, and now all of a sudden they base their whole thought on that. You know, it's like their whole decisions about how they feel about him on something like that. Um, I don't think that's smart. I mean, because you can dig up dirt on pretty much anyone. I mean, you know, Joe Biden, they have the, you know, and then there's the laptop and there's all this stuff. There's so much more stuff. Like there's worse stuff out there on them. But the media doesn't talk about it. And so the general person that doesn't really pay attention to politics, they don't. They only hear what they're being told over and over and over on the news. So I'm just saying, you know what? Um, there's nothing that anyone can do about it. We have a new president-elect. He's been shot at. He's been sued. He's been impeached twice. You know, you got to look at it like, dude, they are seriously attacking this man. And why? Because he doesn't need the money. You get it? He's there, 78-year-old man who went through all this stuff, worked like 67 days straight trying to earn your vote. And we're still calling him Hitler. It's like, come on, guys. Think rationally. Think rationally, okay? Just relax. Everything's going to be okay. He's not going to take away your abortions, okay? He he doesn't want he doesn't have anything to do with that, okay? It's all at the state level. So if you want to live in a state where it's cool like that, then come out to California. That's where I'm at. You can do whatever you want here. You know, not saying I agree with it, but you can do whatever you want. Go to New York. You know, shoot, you can go anywhere and have that, which, you know, I don't agree with. I mean, at certain cases, I think, you know, I don't want to get into it here, but I, I think there's certain cases where I think, you know, if it's up, it's up to you, you know, um, but that's a whole other debate. I don't want to go there, but I'm just saying, don't be a one issue voter over something like that. Like, look at the economy, look at crime, look at the border, um, look at inflation, look at um, just look at the whole picture. And all anyone wants to do is be happy, healthy, prosperous, be able to buy a house, you know, have a family if you want one or have a dog, whatever you want. You know, people just want to enjoy their life. And I think if we sit there and just bicker about politics all our lives and, oh, somebody's going to do this and that. If they are, I mean, there's nothing we're going to be able to do about it. But trust me, dude, he's not. It's not going to happen, okay? He didn't do it in four years. He's not going to do it now. So everybody just needs to chill. Let's all come together. Let's all just be on the same page as far as like just caring about each other and helping each other out wherever you lean on the political spectrum. And I think it's all going to be okay. Let's just see what happens. Hopefully the wars will stop, okay? Hopefully we'll stop, we'll, our tax money will stop going to fund wars. Get the two to the table Put an end to it because there's too many people dying. No war. No war. Okay? God bless you guys. Peace.